and hello and welcome into Views from the Sideline. I'm your host, Joey Tysick. My partner, Malik Hill, sitting in a little different spot today, but that's because we have special guests. It's March Madness, so it is that time of the year. We got Sammy Taramina and Chris Pappas back in the studio to help fill out this Views from the Sideline brackets. Sammy, how are you doing? We'll start with you. you no, know, I'm hanging in there. Actually, keeping an eye on two basketball tournaments around the state of Michigan as well. Yeah, not only is there college basketball going on, but there's still high school going on, and yep. Sammy is all over that. Yep. Chris, all the way from Ohio, now that he left our great state of Michigan. Um, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Can I get an OH? Oh, no. Uh, can we kick him off already? Uh, no. Can we, can, we, can we just mute it already? Oh, I do got a friend. I do got a friend who um is a huge Buckeye nut. Oh, of course. Hey. I have a friend. Yeah, I've met a few of them in Michigan. It's unfortunate. Hey, it's I mean, very like, unfortunate. There's nothing wrong being a Buckeye fan. Nothing wrong. I mean, in like, Michigan though, <laughs> Michigan fans in Ohio will probably get the same <laughs> amount of yeah disrespect. Ohio State fan just had to throw the O H for all the Ohio people watching. Yeah, I, yeah, Buc- I understand. I, understand. I have a Buckeye nut. You know what I mean? Like who the Who's a big time Buckeye fan, living in South Carolina now. Um, but I keep in touch with her. Nice. Yeah, I could be friends with an Ohio State fan. It'd be tough, but <laughs> I could do it. All righty. Um, before we just jump into this, I do want to get everybody's thoughts on the tournament. Um, one big takeaway for each of you, Sammy. What's your kind of biggest takeaway from this? Michigan's tournament? in the field. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. I mean, what, wait. oh yeah, I love this. <laughs> He's not happy. No, I am not. <laughs> I actually wagered my um girls ba- varsity basketball coach on um, you know um Lake Orion girls varsity basketball coach on this. Um, mm. I said that Michigan was not going to make the field, but in all honesty, how can you have a team of fourteen losses that's in the field? Fair enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later, Malik. We will get to that, Malik. What are you excited about or whatever about this tournament? So honestly, I I want to see if the Big Ten teams just fall apart again. Yeah. This is this has been a theme yeah. over the past few years. The Big Ten Conference is so hyped up during the regular season. They just knock each other out until somebody finally wins the conference. Mm-hmm. They get to the NCAA tournament, and then they all disappoint. We'll, so we'll, we'll at least one team finally step up. Some people think Purdue can. Some people think Wisconsin can. I don't, think, I don't believe in Wisconsin. Illinois? I think Illinois could. Iowa, Keegan Murray. We will see. Will they fall apart again? We'll see. we'll see. Chris, what's your takeaway from this tournament? Do you think? Uh, the East region is going to be absolute madness. There are oh, going to be games you cannot even imagine what the outcome is going to be. The matchups are great. I'm excited for that part of the bracket. I think East region is going to be the most exciting. I agree. Yeah. Um, I'm just always excited for the upsets. That's mm-hmm. That's all I'm here for. I wonder how many we're going to pick. Will yeah. we go absolutely crazy or will we have a little <laughs> bit of reason in this? I don't know. I think well, I, I'll be a voice of reason today. <laughs> okay. Sammy's the voice of reason wow. today? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a long Listen, show then. Chris, Chris we, know you, we know you got Loyola going to the final four. So, <laughs> Hey, it's like you saw my bracket already. Listen, we, we know. Yeah. We know what it is. Yes, yes. All righty. Let's get right into it. We got to go through the West region first. I think the West region is pretty interesting in and of itself. Um, there's a lot of interesting matchups you have the overall number one seed of Gonzaga. Um, There's some teams that have had up and down seasons like Michigan State, Memphis, Arkansas, even Alabama. Like, I think this is another good conference uh, to figure out, you know, who's going to get out of this one. Mm -hmm. So let's start right from the top. Gonzaga, Georgia State. Does anybody (laughs) anybody see remnants of an R.J. Hunter team? Here. Listen, it it may no, it may no, be it may no. be under twenty. It might be like a fifteen point win just because just because Gonzaga might not have their foot fully on the pedal in this first game. Ron but, Hunter's not coming back, yeah, and exactly. you know what? I mean, like until I mean Gonzaga's legit. I mm-hmm. mean, yeah, they're the top seed for a reason. Um, we're not seeing no UMBCs here, so I'm taking Gonzaga. I yeah. got Gonzaga too. Yep, I agree. Gonzaga. Chris, are you taking Georgia State? No, I gotta go Guns, I guess. Chat smart home choice. Bro. He could be a piston next year. Smart choice, yes. A smart choice. Yeah. All righty. Um, now we got the 8 9 matchup Boise State, Memphis. This one I think is pretty interesting. Memphis, Penny Hardaway. We know he's struggled all season, but they got it going late, late in the stretch. 
Um, they did come up just short of the championship, and now they're going to play Boise okay. State. Can I start on this one? And the Mountain West is a improved conference. Yeah. yeah, Malik, go ahead. So, I don't think anybody expected Boise State to be as good as they were this year. A lot of people thought San Diego State, maybe Colorado State, but Boise ended up being the best team in the conference, and they're pretty good. Mm-hmm. It seemed like Memphis just needed to get rid of Imani Bates, and they uh, <laughs> and they instantly started playing better basketball. <laughs> it's kind of sad. What I don't understand about Imani Bates, <laughs> the hype that this guy, this kid get, got. I saw this kid play when he was at Ypsilanti Lincoln. I saw him play. I saw him play a few times, too. You know, when he played it at that Ypsilanti prep school. And I, I'll be flat out honest with you. I didn't think he was that good. Um, I won't go that far. Oh wow! I think Dang, he was. I still think he's very talented, mm-hmm. but I think he has a he has a lot to learn when it comes to team basketball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, <laughs> the thing here is Memphis started playing better when yes. they relied on on their veteran leadership, and they got healthy too. And they got healthy too. Boise State's a veteran team; they're a heavy veteran team. So when I look at this game. And I'm looking at this matchup. It's an interesting matchup. But I, I got to trust Boise State in this one. No. I got to trust <laughs> Boise State. <laughs> no. Why? You're, Sammy, you're missing the whole thing. It's right in front of you. Jalen Duran is the reason why Memphis is going to win this game. Boise State cannot compete with the physicality that Memphis has on the inside. Jalen Duran is going to have a monster game. This is going to be a cakewalk for Memphis. As I, I don't know about a cakewalk, but I, I think Chris does have a bit of a point. Boise State is a very good team, and they have something that is valuable in March. I think they have the most clutch player in Marcus Shaver. Their point guard is big time in the clutch. But I do think they win the physicality battle. They're three, four, five. They're more athletic, and they're more physical, and they're just playing really good team basketball. This is the team everybody expected from the start of the season. And I think Memphis gets it done. I don't think it comes down to a clutch shot. I don't think they. I don't think it's a cakewalk, but I think they win by may, maybe Memphis. maybe like seven or eight points. I think Memphis. I'm gonna it. take Boise. Give, I, I got give more me Memphis than Boise. by eleven. <laughs> he mm. said it was a cakewalk and then said by eleven. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely am going Memphis. I, I think, <laughs> I think Jalen Dern is just. He's shown that it looks like he's better without Imani Bates, to be honest. So yeah. I'm going I will be Memphis. very curious to see where Imani Bates goes, you know, if he transfers out of Memphis. If he or... doesn't go to G League, I'll be surprised. I don't see him yeah, staying in college. Yeah, he's going to G League Ignite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, he's just all hype. He's just all hype. Yeah. Okay, really quick. We have to take a really quick pause. I got to. All right. Next part of the bracket is UConn taking on New Mexico State. Anybody have uh, New, Mex- New Mexico State upsetting? UConn? Nope. nope. No. Anybody no, see no, it? No, no, no. I like Teddy Allen for New Mexico State, but he won't be enough. Yeah. He won't I, be enough. I watch UConn play. They're tough. They're legit. Um, I really like this UConn team. Yeah. Adam Sanogo is a beast in the post. Yes, he is. He really is. Yep. I think UConn is primed for actually maybe even a trip to the Sweet 16 this year. I agree. I it's, agree it's possible. You. It's possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not yeah. so high on UConn. I don't have the upset. Why? I don't know. I watched them play earlier in the season, and I thought that they, like— It took them some time to get going. That they should be able to yeah. dominate. They really got going in the Big East. And I just, I just don't see it. Okay. All right, so we're all going UConn. It's yep. unanimous. All right. Oof. Now we got Arkansas, Vermont. Anybody want to go first on this This one? is another trendy upset pick I've been hearing about. Yeah. A lot of people have been digging Vermont. Mm-hmm. And they are a really good team, but I can't do it. No? You're not taking the Catamounts? I can't. I'm not taking the Catamounts either. I'm Wait. going to the Razorbacks, you know. Hog, pig, stewie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Chris, what's your take on this matchup? Arkansas. I, you know, I just – maybe it's because I did watch a lot of Vermont basketball this year, but I, I'm taking the Razorbacks. Mm-hmm. Dang. Yeah. The teams you don't watch usually are the ones that get upset. Yep. But – so. But I agree with Arkansas. So I, I've been basically Arkansas all season. I think that they have Final Four potential. But I'm taking Vermont. 
I'm wow. believing in it. There's a couple <laughs> matchups that I'm like nervous of like people are getting too excited about these uh potential upsets. I think Vermont could make a run. I, I think wow. they could beat Arkansas and then I think they could beat UConn. Because they're they're another one of those high powered three point shooting offenses that I love to watch. And they just they play good. And Arkansas has a tough time at like if they get out of rhythm, they oh, yeah, struggle. They, they go cold really yeah, quickly. They go if they, cold real quick. So if Vermont gets going and gets out ahead of them early, it like they could shut out Arkansas and then Arkansas just struggles to come back. They almost got upset last year. I don't think people they were losing to I think Colgate, Colgate by like yeah. twenty and they had to come back and win that game. So they've been in a position like that before. Yep. I mean, either way, we're going with Arkansas. I'm mm-hmm. okay with it. You're the one Vermont believer. But I did wanna I did want to yes, shed some light on Vermont. Joe Joey, you may have persuaded me. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> how do you how do you decide ties? <laughs> well, we normally decide? we would just let somebody decide it for us. Oh, okay. That's what we've done in the past. But I'm not gonna take this account. I'll I'll take that I've swayed Chris, but he still voted for Arkansas. Okay, yeah. All right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, later on, if we if we want to sway, we I guess we could do it. But all right, Alabama, the six seed, taking on the eleven out of the winner of tonight's game, Rutgers or Notre Dame. I think Rutgers is going to win that playing game. I do. I think that too. I like the Scarlet Knights this year. And I think that if Rutgers wins that game, they're beating Alabama. I agree Chris, with you wholeheartedly. Think, yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly too. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's why I'm I'm telling you. Rutgers is a scary team. I mean, they are. Anytime the way that they beat Michigan State, the way they beat Wisconsin in Madison, um, I was a little sh- disappointed about the Big Ten tournament, you know, when they lost right. to Iowa. But I'm telling you, this Rutgers team, really legit, very scary. Yeah. Alabama's been a disappointment mm-hmm. for most of the season, too. So I just don't, I don't believe in them. No. Yeah. Chris, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I got Rutgers. Rutgers is. It's, it's a tough team. And I think this will be a good uh, breaking point for whether or not the uh, Big Ten is the real deal or not. Yeah. It is. So I- I'm hoping that they are, but we know what happened last year. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. So we're we're all taking the 11 over the 6 matchup. Mm-hmm. Even if Notre Dame wins, I'm still taking them over Alabama. <laughs> yes. Whoever wins this game tonight. Fair yeah. enough. Taking them over Bama. Although I'm a little afraid because Alabama's had some quality wins this season. Mm-hmm. A few. Yeah. All right. Texas Tech. The number three over Montana State. Now, this isn't a Chris Beard team anymore, but it's still defense, defense, defense. An even better version. Even something. better version. Yeah. I would say. Until, yeah, even though Chris Beard's not there anymore, it's still, it's still, his principles are still there. Exactly. Um, I, I just think tech too much. Yeah. I agree. I don't, I don't see a way of Montana State doing no. anything. I don't know how they score over 50. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't know that's, how they score fair. over fifty points. That's fair, Chris. Do you believe in the? Uh, the no, are they Bobcats? Uh, the Bob- Red Raiders, yeah. there. Red Raiders, right? No, I mean Montana. Oh, Montana. Sorry, the Bobcats. I don't know about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like Bobcats. Yeah. No, Chris. No, no. Montana State. No. no, no, no. All right, Texas Tech. It is. Here no. we go, boys. Here we are. Here we are. This the is what lawyer I'm classic. Ready. This is what, this is what we wanted. It's Michigan State versus Davidson. Um, if this doesn't tell you that, uh, you know, the committee is, yeah. is rigged and that conference tournaments don't really matter, <laughs> this, this proves it. Um, getting a former Michigan State player, Foster Lawyer, playing for Davison against Michigan State in the first round, potentially Michigan State matching up with Duke in the second round. There's a lot of storylines here. Let's start with Sammy. He's the no. native Michigan Stater. I've been so disappointed with Marcus Bingham all year long. Seven footer from Grand Rapids. Um, I I, I thought I, I expect more from him, but he really everybody did. He really he hasn't gotten stronger. Um, he really I thought he could be the next great big to come out of Michigan State, but mm-hmm. he really hasn't. I mean, Gabe Brown's really been the one that's carrying that team. Been very disappointed with Joey Hauser. Um, Tyson Walker, when healthy, is a very good player. Um, but it's still Michigan State, you know. Yep. I know Davidson's a very good team. They got Foster Lawyer on that team. I know what he did at Clarkston, you know, when he played at Michigan State. I mean, but I just, when I look at this game here, it's going to be close. I think it's going to be a five-point game. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I just think Michigan State finds a way and wins this game. To be fair, this Fos- this version of Foster Lawyer is not Michigan State Foster Lawyer, and it's not Clarkson Foster Lawyer. This is a, a player that has grown in this new atmosphere uh, within the Davidson coaching staff, has a solid team around him. He had, There's something about a revenge game in the tournament. I, give me Davidson all day long. I think they sneak it out. Foster Lawyer with a big shot, maybe some big free throws to finish off the game. Okay. Malik, what do you got? As soon as they announced this matchup, I, I was I was picking Davidson so hard. Mm-hmm. But the more I thought about it, don't think about it. Both both of these it's teams, was, there there won't be much defense. It's a trap. There's going to be so much shooting and hitting threes from Davidson, and Michigan State is just going to run up and down. I think this might end up in the 80s. They're just going to be running and, and shooting. I take Michigan State like 82 to 80. Yeah, oh. a close Michigan State win. Just they just Joey's sneak it out. Yeah, Chris, I was also in the Davison bandwagon, similar to Malik, but it's it's to me this is even more of a trap than the Vermont Arkansas, yeah. where almost everybody is saying Davidson, Davidson, Davidson. They're gonna win it. Michigan State looks terrible. They do look terrible, but they're a Big Ten team. <laughs> Davidson, it's a smaller conference. Not that, Not that in, that in the grand scheme the of things yeah. that that matters. But at times, I think it will. I'm hoping that Michigan State can do something. I just think that they're more talented, even though they have not played up to their talent basically all season. I think. Yo, yo, where there where there's smoke, there's fire. You know, we've talked about. <laughs> Did you just use a uh, Jeff Smoker Charles Rogers <laughs> quote here? What, you this, just did. You what? just did. Where what where is there's. This? The smoke and the fire. You just use a Jeff Smoker Charles <laughs> Rogers quote. Well, right. you know what? Deserve at least so. Uh, Either way, Michigan's looked bad. They have, they have looked bad. Looked I know they've looked bad. I, I just don't think Davidson is that good as people keep talking about. Okay. I, I think there's just going to be a talent discrepancy. There's going to be a toughness factor that Michigan State actually has. And if it gets into a, a game with no defense, like Malik's saying, and it's very just free form, I think that's where Michigan State will do better when they're not having to run plays. I worry oh, yeah, about yeah, Michigan yeah, State's good. toughness. I This is not a happy you brought typical that up. I, Tom I Izzo team. Yeah. This is not a mentally tough team. Yeah. When they get punched um, in the mouth, they usually yes, don't. Yeah. When they, and this team's gotten punched in the mouth several times, and I've been just completely flabbergasted with the mental toughness that this team's had. Um, especially Marcus Bingham, I've been really disappointed with him. Um, Gabe Brown's the one that's really been the one that's carrying this team. He's been inconsistent too, though. I think I know he's been inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> I think one thing, one key of this game is that I think AJ Hoggard is going to try to make this game hell for Foster Lawyer. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to be all over him from the jump. He's he's one of the guys, AJ Hoggard. I think he has some dog in him, but he's not one of the most talented players on Michigan State. Mm-hmm. No. He he's gonna be he's gonna be so into it, especially with Tyson Walker out. He's gonna want to make a point to try and shut out Foster Lawyer, and we'll if see what had, happens. What do you say? If he had dog in him, we would already know about it. It's not just gonna appear because of this moment. Listen, I, I said he's not the most talented player. I'm definitely not but a he, believer but in he has, yeah. He's tough. I didn't say he was the most talented. I said he's tough. He is one a, of the few tough. He guys. is a bigger I think, players. I don't think he's either. He is a bigger bodied <laughs> point guard though. Yeah where I think that he can match up against Foster Lawyer, whereas, like, Tyson Walker would be more, like, equal footing. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I do agree with that in a sense, but A.J. Hoggard is no. He's going to try to bring it to him. He's we'll, not, we'll see what happens. He's not the guy. He's, he's going to try. Yep. All righty. We'll talk about Michigan State in the next round, I guess, because they're moving on. And they're playing. We don't. We, we, we're not going to talk about we're not gonna talk Yeah, can we just talk? Can we just say Duke and move on? Yeah. Yeah. Duke's just more talented. Yep. And even though they struggled. Yeah. All right. Do you guys want to go to the East region? Yeah, let's go East. Sure, let's do it. The mess of the East region. Baylor, the defending champions, taking on Norfolk State, who have created upsets in the past. But this time they're a 16 seed. I think the last time they did it, they were a 15. 15, yeah. Kylo Quinn was on that team. Wow. I don't know where he is. It seemed like he was (laughs) in the league like two or three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He made, he made his money. He made his money. I do remember Norfolk State. Didn't they upset somebody a couple they, of years ago? Uh, Missouri, I Missouri, believe. Missouri, yeah. yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't think that they have. It's a, it's a, it's a Big Twelve opponent. You know, now Missouri is not in the SEC, but they used to be in the Big Twelve. But I, I, I just can't. Um, I just got to take Baylor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Norfolk State, their mascot is not the Golden Retrievers, so. They're the Spartans. No. Baylor Bears. <laughs> Baylor Bears all the I'm way. Not, yep. I'm not, I'm picking Baylor, but I could see this being the, the 116 matchup that actually is close for the first Competitive. time. Competitive. Yeah. yeah. Baylor Maybe. does have a lot of injuries. They're going to be lacking mm-hmm. their top talent, so. I think this one will be closer than anticipated. Yeah. All righty. 8-9 matchup. Some old school teams. North Carolina playing Marquette. Chris, let's start with go, you. Yeah, I gotta go North Carolina. I mean, they've come on the season. They've ended the season on a higher note than they were moving throughout the regular season. I think the big key, their big turnaround was that big win against on uh, Coach K Knight yeah. against yep. Duke. Yep. Kind of brought them together. Yeah. That was kind of that that tipping point for this team, and I feel like They've been on a little bit of a roll here, and we know anything and, in March. And we know, Chris, that you're the uh, the NBA prospect guy, Armando Baycott. He's, he's been a monster late in this he's season. Been good. He's somebody he's to been watch good. out for. Yeah. Malik, who you got? I've been back and forth on this one because I think Sean Lewis for Marquette is a monster. He's been leading them this whole season in most categories. But I, I think in terms of athleticism – and just overall talent, I think North Carolina is better, and I think they have more veteran presence. Marquette has a very young roster, and Shaka Smart's first year at Marquette. I think they'll keep it tough for most of the game, but you get a few big shots from from Caleb Love. Brady Manick is a knockdown shooter. He'll hit some threes. Mm-hmm. I think North Carolina pulls it out. I got North Carolina as well. I mean, experience matters. I mean, I mean, they're still going through that. Coaching transition pre Roy Wood post Roy Williams era, you yeah. know what I mean. So, but too much talent. Give me Carolina. Yep, I also have the Tar Heels. I'm not a big fan of them, but I think they they got a very favorable bracket to where they can they can do something this year. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about how Shaka Smart just goes where the money is? That dude has no loyalty. Well, I, I don't think he ever fit Texas. Honestly, I think yeah. no, he didn't fit. Yeah, Texas. I think Marquette is I, I can't remember if he's from Milwaukee, but I think Marquette was a much better fit for him than Texas ever was. Yeah. I do believe though that Texas was definitely for the money. Yes. That's for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially but I mean, they got. I mean when you get a, a mid major kind of to get to that point that he did, like it makes sense. So yeah, you gotta yeah. go get your bag at some point, right? Yeah, very true. All right. Here we go. Another play in well, we already know the winner of this one. Yeah. But St. Mary's is going to be playing Indiana, another Big Ten team. They have turned it on at the right time. They didn't look amazing last night. No, they did not. But Trace Jackson Davis did look yes, amazing. Yes, he's their guy. And he's been, he's been there everything lately. And now they're going to take on a St. Mary's team. They've been sitting for a while. They're one of the early conference uh, teams for that West Coast. And they did beat Gonzaga earlier in the season. But this is another one that a lot of people are looking at. The Indiana upset, me being one of them. No, I no, think Joe, you're riding the tread too hard, man. I may, be, I may be. I do like St. Mary's as a team. They're kind of my style, kind of a three-point shooting team, but they're a balanced attack at the same time. Trust your heart, man. Trust your heart. But I'm going with Indiana. I think, Ugh. I do think that this year the Big Ten is actually going to turn it around because they have so many teams again. People are going to expect them to lose. And I think this year they're going to actually bounce back. I got Joey, Indiana as well. Joey, See? Sammy's Joey, I got you know, Indiana. Here, here's my one thing. Joey describes himself as a realist. Yet, for two things, this man is, for whatever reason, too optimistic about. One, <laughs> the Detroit Lions ever being good at, at, at football. Hey, we'll what talk about DJ Chark next week. He didn't, have to, week he didn't have to be. bring the Lions and into two, this. He didn't have and to. And two, the Big Ten being decent in a March Madness tournament. When was the last time a Big Ten team won the NCAA championship? It's, well, it's, it's been a while, but we've had a lot of Final Fours. So, I mean, at least represent, representation. representation. Yeah. Michigan's made two yeah. championship games. Michigan but they State's didn't win. been in there. And anyway. Indiana's going to win this. Um, nope. Yes. No chance. Yes. <laughs> um, so, Indiana, too much. 
too much for St. Mary's. St. Mary's is rusty. All right, Chris, defend St. Mary's, and then we'll like we'll let Malik make the final call. I mean, St. Mary's is one of the best defenses in the country. When you're rusty, they shut down, they shut down Gonzaga. You're rusty. They shut down Gonzaga. And they almost they, beat him well, in, the, in the tournament championship. Yeah. They have, okay. Yeah, they got a good I, defense. I they have a great defense. They can make their free throws. When you're looking at a team to make a run in the tournament, at least for me, I look at how good is their defense and can they make free throws on the stretch. Those are two big components of a team that's going to win some games in the tournament. Fair enough. Listen, Blake, uh, what do you got? I, I'm, I'm here with Chris. I'm picking St. Mary's. Thank you. Thank I, you. Outside of Trace Jackson, Jackson Davis, even though they've played well down the stretch, I, do, I don't trust most of their guards. I don't trust most of their other forwards besides Trace Jackson and Race Thompson. St. Mary's is a tough team. Mm-hmm. And I they don't play down to competition. They play up. I think they're going to be ready. I don't think Indiana's a good enough shooting team to keep up. They'll keep fighting, but I think in the same in the end, St. Mary's pulls it out. All right. Yeah. So then we're gonna go with St. Mary's for the bracket. We'll let myself, Sammy, or Chris make a final decision on another game. But we'll go with St. Mary's for the sake of the bracket. But I just want to be here that if Indiana does win, bracket Sammy rates. and I were right. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Four seed UCLA taking on thirteen Akron. I'm starting this one. Go for it. Hey. Experience matters. UCLA's got it. You know, sounds of Westwood. Got to give UCLA that. Experience matters. They got a lot of it. We saw them make a big run last year. Nobody Final kind of, four. Nobody really expected it. Mm-hmm. And uh, this year they were expected. They did pretty well for the most part. And, uh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, I, I, I think UCLA is one of those teams that are primed for Sweet 16, but maybe even Elite Eight. They, they're returning essentially the same team from last year. And I don't. I think this is going to be one of the biggest blowouts of the first round. UCLA versus Akron. Mm-hmm. Poor hit. Malik, what you got? UCLA can put up a ton of points, but they don't defend their very much. They could almost like call their number on this one. They could put up ninety something. Mm-hmm. UCLA is going to put up points. I think they might allow Akron to get into like the high sixties or seventies, but UCLA pulls it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you guys. I think UCLA takes this one. Just, again, experience. Akron doesn't seem like that kind of team that's going to pull off the upset. I mean, it'd be it'd be crazy if they did. Mm-hmm. It'd bust all the brackets, but, yeah, I don't see it. Here's the big one. Here's another trap game. No, not a trap game. The six this seed is... Texas. Listen. Taking on 11 Virginia let, Tech. Let, let, me, let me start this one. <laughs> Go ahead. Texas is so they, – they're not a very good team. They're just not that good. But the Big 12 yeah. is the best conference in college They're basketball. They're just not that good. <laughs> they brought in like four or five transfers that were all number one guys on their own teams, and they never figured out the offense as the season went on. They're good on defense, but they're so average on offense. And every tough team they play against, they just fold. Virginia Tech just won the ACC <laughs> tournament championship. Mm-hmm. They've proved their toughness. Virginia Tech is here. Yeah. Give me the Hokies. <laughs> The Hokies are hot. Horns down. Lock it in. Horns down, Hokies. Yes. <laughs> Just here's, here's, horns down. Here's, here's, here's what I'm thinking. Yes, um. sir. Horns <laughs> Sam down. Sam is putting the horns down symbol on, yeah. Chris. Yes. Um, yeah. Let me defend Texas for a minute. Oh, here. Okay. They, got, they have Chris Beard. He has tournament yes. experience. Yes. He can get these guys right for this game. He's going into this game knowing that everybody's picking Virginia Tech. Maybe there's a way. I also have Virginia Tech. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you didn't sound very convincing there. But I'm just yeah. saying, I, I also wouldn't be surprised if Texas pulls this out just by the fact that maybe Virginia Tech peaked too early. They're going to be overconfident coming into this game. They don't take Texas serious enough. Chris Beard gets his guys right, and they win this game. I'm taking Virginia Tech, but I'm just saying. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just want to be a defender. Is that, our, is that our first sweep on an upset? Uh... I think it is. Or was it Rutgers Notre Dame? I think, I think it's that Rutgers was the first Notre Dame. One. Yeah, yeah Rutgers. That was the first one. Okay. Purdue and Yale. Anybody got oh. any Yale no. lovers? I, I, I'm no. not going Yale, no. but Purdue no. is one. I 
I just I do not know how to feel about this team. They look amazing one game and you don't they know look how to average feel the about next. this team. I, I, they look amazing one game. Yeah, I agree. Two or three games in a row. Purdue's and an then, odd and team. then they'll lose one and they just look completely. Purdue's flat. a very odd team to figure yeah. out, but I, I got it, Purdue going by Yale though. Yeah, I, I, me too. But after the, I don't know after this game. Yeah, I mean Ivy League schools are kind of, you know, they're known to do something in tournaments, but. Not to this level, necessarily. In the last Ivy League school, when I picked Yale a couple years ago, I was going like, um, uh, I thought Yale would have beat LSU. Because they almost beat them. They should have beat them. Yeah, they almost yeah. did. So they they usually have a high-powered offense, but Purdue just has the talent. Purdue just got it's talent. just talent level. Chris, Purdue has a top-five pick. <laughs> Chris, you have anything to add? No, I mean, you guys have said it all. I mean, I, I, I really like Purdue in the tournament. I get they've been a little bit streaky, but... I think they have the best player in the tournament in Jay Nivey. And if he gets hot, let's just say he starts this tournament off hot and can keep that going. He Purdue is can be a final four team with a hot and consistent Jay Nivey. Yeah, there there's a chance he averages like twenty five this tournament and just is going yeah. off on people. I agree. That's what Carson Edwards did a few years ago for yep. Purdue. Yep. He shot them to a fought to a Elite Eight or Final yep. Four count. I mean, I think yeah. think about it this way too, as as far as like for Jay Nivey. His main goal is to be the top pick in this coming this upcoming draft. Everybody's watching this. Jay Nivey's a competitor. He knows Chet, Jabari, and Paolo are all essentially mocked ahead of him. If Jay Nivey wants to make a jump, this is his best opportunity before any draft combine or draft interviews. I think I it's, can see yeah. him being a piston. That was- That's what John Morant did. I think he'd be a piston. Yeah. He, he'll be a piston. John Morant made a big tournament run with Murray State. That yep. sealed yeah. the deal. He'll be a piston. And speaking of Murray State, you guys see that transition there? Very oh, nice. Oh yeah. yeah. The no, seven no, no, seed, the seven seed Murray State taking on ten San Francisco. This is gonna be absolute this, fun. Yeah. This could be a really good game. A lot of people I know are um, excited to watch this one. A lot of experts are kind of keying in on this game. I think it's gonna be hot. I think it's gonna be mid nineties. Yeah. I mean, I think it's gonna be a 90s, 97, 93 game. Yeah, and this is the uh, late night Thursday game, or one of the mm-hmm. later night Thursday games. Mm-hmm. Um, so stay up to watch this one. I'm gonna go with Murray State. Um, I haven't done a ton of research on San Francisco, but I've heard they're just they're they're they, a solid. They team. got a great backcourt. They yeah, their their starting guards good. are fantastic. Yeah, and guard play is always really big in the tournament. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna how's go with your, Murray how's State. How's their free throw shooting? It's not great. <laughs> And the, both times they played Gonzaga, they just, like, it was clear Gonzaga was, the like, the better team. It wasn't yeah. like St. Mary's where they put up a great fight both times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to take the racers. I got Murray State as well. I mean, like, you know, I think Murray State, they're going to find ways to score. This is going to be a high-scoring game. I mean, prepare for fireworks, my friend. <laughs> fireworks. I'd be excited for it. Any San Francisco people here? No. Nope. Murray State. I'm taking Murray State, but I—I yeah. I mean, would it surprise me? It'll San be a Francisco good game. Oh, it'll be a really good. I game. mean, I, th- this one to me was a toss-up. Yeah, this is a game that I don't think, uh, in my opinion, I don't think either team is going to get past mm-hmm. the next team. Um, but I think it's kind of a toss-up. Yeah. And the number two seed, Kentucky, taking on my favorite mascot of the tournament, the St. Peter's Peacocks. Listen, I'm 15 seed. I am sorry for the Peacocks. This is going to be the biggest blowout of the first oh, round. Yeah. Kentucky is no, going to no, beat no. them by at least like 30. Yeah. Let's just let's let's take a step back for a second. <laughs> when the 16 seed beat a one seed, it was the Golden Retrievers. Yes. Was their mascot. That's fair enough. This is the Peacocks. <laughs> I'm just saying, of all you know, when there's a these huge upsets. It's always some funky mascot. Oh, c- come on. No, no, no. I, it's, I, a fun I, argu- it's a fun argument. No, no, no. no. Malik, but... Malik, I'm taking a step back. I'm not talking any basketball. I'm just talking. Okay. You know, <laughs> I respect it. I from respect a, it. From, from, a per- from a better standpoint, I guess, yeah. if you want to make it a reason why to bet on the money line. <laughs> Positive St. Peter's St. talk. Peter's. I like it. Fair enough. Positive about St. Peter's. If the Peacocks... Yeah, Pull yeah, off an up, if the Peacocks pull off an upset here. They're my team forever. I will. Yes. It, I will go on my podcast and apologize to every single Peacock there is. <laughs> I will seriously. Every it. Peacock there is. Every Peacock. We're going I, down to the Detroit Zoo saying hello to all the Peacocks. <laughs> I will apologize. I apologize. Yep. But I'm taking Kentucky. Yeah. Not even close. 
I, I'm taking Kentucky, but I really hope I'm a St. Peter's fan for that day. <laughs> yeah, that's one that I wouldn't mind that my bracket is busted if they win. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> All right, moving over to the South. Every, a lot of people's favorite this year to win the tournament I'm, I'm seeing. Arizona taking on the winner of Wright State or Bryant. I'm hoping that it's Bryant. Oh, I can't, I really Peter Kiss. Kiss. Yes. That's that's who we want to see. They play tonight. Yeah, I can't I watch the way. To, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and Malik has a vendetta against Wright State. They beat Oakland. Uh, I don't have a vendetta yeah. against Wright State. <laughs> I have a vendetta against Oakland. Well, yeah. Wright State's a very, well, Wright State's not a bad team, but Bryant, if, could this be a UMBC and Bryant? <laughs> they are Bulldogs. Listen, They're a dog. <laughs> they, they, have a t- they have the top score in the country. They have the top he's, he's gonna, in the He's going to let it fly. I think Arizona lost one of their top players, I believe. He got yeah, hurt in the Pac-12 Carissa, tournament. Yes. Um, it might be a little competitive in the be beginning. It'll be competitive in the beginning. Arizona will be too much, but don't be surprised if Bryant pulls off the upset. Oh. Max, Max he's Abbas. He's the shot. Max, Max Abbas. Yeah. Aismas with uh, Oral Roberts last year. Was one of the leading, too, but, he was yeah. one of the leading scorers. Uh-huh. Right, but, it, you know, maybe. Don't be surprised if Bryant pulls off the upset. I, I, would, Sammy, I would love it. Sammy, I'm here for it. Yeah, Sammy, let, let, let's put the money where the mouth is. Take <laughs> Bryant. Take him. Just, just for fun. Well, not? we don't know. Just, if, just for We fun. don't know if Bryant's going to get the play in. No, no, true, true. Get the play yeah, in. yeah, yeah, true. Because if Wright State's in, uh, it's Arizona. I don't mm-hmm. care. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited to see Peter Kiss tonight. To be honest. Yeah, that's that's the I, one thing we're all looking forward to seeing. Yeah. Because yes. what is he averaging now? Is he is it 25? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute bucket. But anyway. Cocky too. He is cocky. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I love to see it. We all got yeah. Arizona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's Arizona. Easy sweep. Yep. Yep. All right. 8-9 seed. Seton Hall, TCU. TCU made a big run late in the season as well. They had some huge wins. Uh, they're kind of a defensive-oriented team. I like the way they play. I, I, I'm going with the Horned Frogs. Listen, I, they got a sweet mascot. If they, you're a mascot bracket filler, the Horn Frogs. Horn yeah. Frogs. Frogs are perfect. They they have one of the best point guards in the tournament, in Mike Miles. Jamie Dixon has been here with his Pittsburgh teams when we were younger. When Pittsburgh was good, now they're just mm-hmm. embarrassing. But I trust Jamie Dixon. I trust Mike Miles, and they have more talent. I'm taking TCU. I got the Frogs as well. I got the Frogs as well. Okay. Yep. You got you guys are missing it. Seton Hall has an elite defense and is one of the best. How elite? <laughs> how, elite elite? Are we, how elite are we talking here? <laughs> so it's gonna be a defensive matchup. It's gonna, this this game's gonna be under. It's gonna be like a, in the fifties, and it's the whatever team gets the most rebounds. Seton Hall, Seton Hall doesn't Hall. have the scores though. They they don't have the See, bucket kids. But they have the rebounders and the and with more opportunities to score the ball. That's just it's just basic math. Give me Seton Hall all day. This is easy. <laughs> Okay. It's just basic okay. math. Ma- okay. Joey is just basic math, Joey. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. You got, you got Fair enough. Math. Guys. I can't argue. Joey, Joey, I can't argue with it. Write it, write it down in pen. Permanent marker. Whatever you want to say. It down this is pen. the biggest lock in the tournament. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I, I like Seton Hall. Here we go. I like Seton Hall, but I like the way the TCU finished off the season. Yeah. Lock uh, it in, fellas. Seton Hall all day. Okay. He could be right. We'll see. Could be right. We'll Here see. we go. Are we- so are we putting Seton Hall in? No, we're no, going to see you. You're the only one. Houston UAB, Houston the five seed, UAB the twelve. This is another upset, people. I've been trying to. Oh yeah, yeah. Give, give me UAB jelly. Oh. He's jelly jumping on the trend. He's, He's jumping, jumping, on, jumping on, the trend. on the trend. I am a Jordan Walker fan. See, but my problem is that it's like Houston is is becoming Gonzaga. They're just a couple steps behind. Where it's like you see Houston on the on the bracket and you're like oh that's upset alert and houston just i mean they made the final four yeah like they're a quality basketball program at this time i don't Who think they played this year who's houston played this year they're gonna be the big 12 that team. people people used to say that about gonzaga every right. year until they became the team they're gonna be right. the okay, big 12 team, team, so they played the houston and gonzaga are two big houston houston plays the in a, 12 houston team, plays, so Memphis. houston p- plays in almost a better league chris Give me Jelly Walker. <laughs> oh my goodness! Listen, right. I, give me Houston. I like Jordan Walker. He's a great. He's gonna have to score at least thirty-five to forty to to get over Houston, and he can do it. Give but me I, Cougars. I think Houston is is too tough for UAB. Cougars. Too. Yeah, I'm taking Houston. They're too tough. Chris, especially we, in the paint. Chris, here we go. Houston lost to Wisconsin by two. These are their notable games. Okay. They lost Wisconsin's to Alabama. Overrated. They lost to Alabama by one. Uh, Alabama's terrible. They split SMU. 
split Memphis, destroyed Oklahoma State and Oregon, which those don't really matter. But yeah. yeah. Um. Meanwhile, UAB lost to San Francisco, split against North Texas, and won by St. Louis. Those are their notable games. So, yeah. uh, San Francisco, I think, was the best team that you named out of all those. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh my God. Where's my mute button? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're going with Houston. Thank you. Yes. The podcast is spoken. Guys, I cannot wait to text you guys when Seton Hall and UAB win. Okay. Oh, okay. boy. I'm <laughs> totally down for, you know, bragging rights. I totally understand. All right. Here we go. Big 10, Illinois taking on Chattanooga. This is another little sleeper game that I've heard some people talking about lately, that Chatt- Chattanooga, they think, uh, can actually do it. I do not. <laughs> I think, Chris, are you a Chattanooga man? No, no, no Oh, no, this no. is where you draw the line? Okay. This is where I draw the line. Even though Illinois has struggled, I don't trust them, but they'll, they'll beat Chattanooga. Yeah. They got I, I, size. I like they're big in the post. Um, I-L-L-I-N-I. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I mean, Illinois, to do anything, though, they're going to need Andre Curbelo to, to really step it up. Mm-hmm. To, to go far, I think they need yes. that, yes. Um, we've seen, uh, was it AJ Plummer can do, oh, yeah. uh, and he, he, he hey and scored, Frazier, when they're hot, they just don't miss. Yeah. They, they can shoot the lights out. So, I mean, they're going to need to stay in that way because they've been so up and down this season, but I think Illinois can pull these off. first few rounds. They'll probably just need Kofi to yep. just be his self to win because yep. yeah. he's just such a monster. Yep. Yeah. Going to Illinois. righty, Here we go, Malik. Colorado State and here Michigan. <laughs> well, here we go. Okay, so listen. <laughs> hail to listen. the victors. We Sammy, say hail. I, I only said it a little bit a few minutes ago, but they they barely deserve to be here. That loss to Indiana is it's the biggest choke I've seen from a Michigan team. They were up by 17 and blew they were, it. They were killing them. They were killing them. <laughs> they were up by 17 and blew listen, it. it almost, How did this team get there and get in the tournament? It almost seemed like they lost on purpose. It was that bad. It was that bad. But here's the thing. <laughs> win at Iowa. Win against Purdue. Beat Michigan State. You got a, you got a few quad one wins. You beat Rutgers. All the Big Ten teams that are the in the only tournament. Reason why they're in right all now. All the Big Ten teams that are in the tournament, they beat them. That's the only reason why they're in. Because they got they they got enough quad wins just to slide in. They got some high highs with some low yeah. lows. The highest of the highs and the lowest of the low, low, low lows. Yeah. And now there's news that Devontae Jones has a concussion. Yep. He's in concussion and protocol. In this game. And he was kind of their their guy towards the end of yeah. the season. So Malik. I like Frankie Collins, but I don't know if he's ready for this. I honestly, I just want to see the young guys play hard and give it everything they've got, which shows how much confidence I have in Michigan. So I'm, ju- I'm just saying, give it everything you've got. Hunter Dickinson should put up some numbers. They still have some talent, but David Roddy, man, David Roddy David is Roddy. a 250 pound guard. <laughs> that man is big and he can ball. Yeah, they got good guards. They're experienced. I'm sorry, Michigan, Colorado State. Woo! Woo! Spicy! Wow! wow. I'm sorry. Chris, if Devontae you... Jones was playing, I would have taken Michigan. Chris, you were singing the the fight song. Um, are you going with Michigan? Hope, I yeah, hope I'm going are. with Michigan. Give me, oh. give me Juwan Howard okay. all day. Oh, He's no. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. stop. He's got that Oh, no. no. No, no. Oh, you, okay. You just killed yourself so, saying that. So here we go, though. <laughs> give me Juwan Howard. He, he's... He's not looking good right now, Chris. Okay, but here we go. He's not looking good. Chris, you want me to be the realist. Yeah. And you were high on St. Mary's, correct? <laughs> yeah. Colorado State beat St. Mary's by 16. Colorado State's good. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Slow. Okay. I'm just letting you know. I'm just just yeah. so you're aware. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm what's aware. your what's your line of thinking for Michigan? I just I'm curious. 100%. Uh, you know, Michigan has the best uh, player in Hunter Dickinson. They have the best player. They have the best player. They you know, they blew a 17 point lead, but they, they were had killing the, Indiana. They were killing them. <laughs> yeah. Before they choked. Yeah. Yes. I don't trust Colorado State. That's the biggest thing of this whole aspect. Yeah, Michigan choked. They were playing good for 75% of that game. 80% of that game. I'm just going I'm going Michigan. Hunter Dickinson. I don't know. I like that kid. They could win, but. <sighs> okay. Now here comes my thought. Yeah. 
This team shouldn't even be in the tournament. They're same. This team shouldn't even be in the tournament, <laughs> but they're here. Yeah. yeah, I think Hunter Dickinson has a big game. Give me Michigan. Oh wow! wow. Oh. <laughs> what a surprise! What a surprise! So here we go. I got Colorado State. Oh, we're splitting it. Wait, that's a that's a tiebreaker. Yeah. Why? Why do you think? Do you, Do you think it's close? I think it might be like a game in the '60s. Yeah. Nothing. But know. I I think. Especially hearing the Devontae Jones news, I think like, he's been their best player for like the past like two weeks. Granted, I don't know like necessarily how Colorado State's going to guard Hunter Dickinson, but I don't know how yeah, they they don't have the size down there to. But they, I don't yeah. know how Michigan guards David Roddy. They got Isaiah Stevens too, who's a great guard. Like it's I a think, lot on Frankie Collins. It's I think a lot. Colorado State is a team that just people don't know about very much, and I think they have potential. To do something here. And it's in Indianapolis. I just think there's going to be a lot of Michigan support down there. Yeah. So That's fair. Yep, so. I hope Michigan wins, but I I just can't. I don't believe in them anymore. I just, a lot of the Michigan support, you know what I mean, coming down from, all you got to do is just take I-69 down to Indianapolis. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I'm saying crowd will be a difference maker in that game. Can we put Colorado State, though, on our bracket because Malik picked against Michigan? No. Can we no. at least put it on the bracket? No. 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 You guys want to put Michigan on the bracket? Yep. I'm yep. not I'm I'm not deciding this yep. one. I'm not deciding it. All right. We'll put U of M. Mm-hmm. Listen, who's there whoever wins this game is losing to Tennessee, so. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that. Even though Longwood deserves their credit. Longwood was the first time they ever made the tournament. First time made tournament, play Rocky Top, going against Rick Barnes. Rocky Top old Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee, the three seed, a lot of people think that Tennessee was snubbed in uh, their seeding. They're taking on Longwood. Anybody have Longwood? No. no. I mean, Long- Longwood's won 19 of the last 20 games. That's they're, a, they're, they're a really good team. Yeah. They're a good team, but I'll be curious to see how they're doing against the SEC team. Yeah. I think a lot of people are thinking that Tennessee is a Final Four type of team. I think Tennessee is an early upset kind of team. I, I think they're gonna yeah. they're getting too much hype. I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily see it myself, but I see them beating Longwood. I'm going with Tennessee I mean, as well. Yeah. But Longwood also is one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country. That's true. Yeah. They, they, they if could we're, if line we're, it if up. We're looking at, if we're looking at upsets that yes. happened in the first round. This could be one. Longwood, yeah. Longwood shoots 38.6% from three as a team. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. That's serious. No, I agree. That's, a, that's my perfect mix for an upset. Um, we're not at yeah. my big upset yet, though, so yeah, this I think could we're... happen, but I, I, we're not at mine yet. Okay. All right, here we go. This is another one big for the podcast. Seven seed, Ohio State. Listen, Taking on number 10, Loyola, Chicago. Who do you think we Chicago. are all about to take? <laughs> we, are, uh, we are the views from the sideline. We are a Loyola, Loyola Chicago podcast. We Joe, of Joe, course listen, are picking them. Look, look at me, Joey. I dare you to take Ohio State. <laughs> do it. Never. <laughs> They have no momentum. <laughs> Joey, are you kidding me? All the, listen, which all is exactly is why I'm taking Ohio State. Uh, oh my God! <laughs> I'm telling you, there you was something weird <laughs> last year. Listen. We saw Ohio State get rocked by Oral Roberts. All they have is EJ Liddell, and point. they were the high seed. They were expected to make like a Final Four run this Joey, year. Joey, Joey, <laughs> Ohio State was a two seed last year. Yes, they lost to Oral Roberts. Yes, in the Summit League. And, I mean, Oral Roberts you went to the Sweet Sixteen. You do not ever diss Sister Jean. You yeah, do not yeah, ever yeah. diss him. Diss that, diss that beautiful person. Sister Jean is a beautiful person, and you know it. So until then, I trust you, Valentine, in that team, and give me Sister Jean. Okay, well, we're putting. I, have, I know we're putting Loyola Chicago on the bracket, but I just think that this is Ohio State's time because they're limping in. It's too obvious. With apologies to my friend in South Carolina. <laughs> Give me Sister Jean. I, I can understand that one point that is too obvious, but I, I really I don't think Ohio State has like any <laughs> steam or momentum at all. Joey, I, just, I I'll don't, give you I don't one think that. Okay. Plus, Brayden Norris played at Oakland. He's my guy. And Drew Valentine, he coached at Oakland. Oh, Oakland's yeah, in the tournament. Out shout out, Drew. There's some Oakland in the tournament. Anyway. Um, what do you got? What, what's your stat, Chris? So, do you guys do you guys know how old Sister Jean is? Ninety six. Ninety. 
I'm, I'm not sure it was like 98. I'm taking a guess. Is she 100? She, tur- she turns 103 this year. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh. He, Maybe I did Jean hear that. Born, Sister Jean was born in 1919. Get, what year was the shoe built on Ohio State's campus? 1922. 1922. Wow. Oh, wow. History book. Nice. <laughs> well, you know. That is incredible. They might make the final four. You, you got a big sister. Team. They might make the hey, final four. Hey, there you go. Coach K is retiring. Roy Williams has left. It's time for Izzo to go out with the old, in with the new. Sister Jean is as old as Rose was in the Titanic, <laughs> almost. Whew. Almost. Okay, we're putting Loyola. Yeah, I, I don't appreciate you saying out with the old with Sister Jean. Don't worry. <laughs> we're putting Loyola Chicago it through to the next round. <laughs> Talk about being old. Me and Malik talked about this, uh, I believe, off the podcast. Number two seed Villanova taking on number 15 seed and Jameer Nelson Jr. Oh of Delaware. We, yeah, Chris. Yeah, Jameer Nelson Jameer Jr. Nelson Jr. Make guard. you feel old. Wow. Um, anybody yeah. have, does anybody have Delaware? No. no. Colin Gillespie, he's, he's mm-hmm. built for this. Yep. He's built for this. Nova's yeah, back. This is the, yeah, it's Noah. I think uh, no. I don't think they have many pro players like nope. their old Villanova teams of old. Yeah, nope. but I so, I think they're a solid team. Yep. I mean they have Jay Wright, so mm-hmm. can't deny it. Moving on to the Midwest, final of the first round, we got Kansas. They're going to be taking on Texas Southern. Southern. Mm-hmm. Texas Southern did not look very good. No, no. Uh, that was an Kansas ugly game. I think Kansas just runs away with this one. Yeah, yeah they run away with this one, and you got fans who I think are doing like this. I think this is the traditional Kansas tradition, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I guess that A little is. Kansas wave. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think Kansas has the the sleeper of next of this upcoming NBA draft in Oche Agbaji. Mm-hmm. He's six seven. He can shoot the lights out. He's a high-level defender. He's almost like a Sadiq Bay top guy to me. Oh, don't 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 say that about Sadiq. Sadiq is a top tier. Yeah, but we didn't know that going into the draft. Yeah, we we, lo- we liked him. We liked the pick, but he's even better than we expected. Yeah, but yeah. I think Oche Abaji is that type of prospect. They're experienced. They're tough. Bill Self teams don't usually make very deep runs mm-hmm. outside of having Mario Chalmers. Yeah, but they're gonna win this game. Yeah, eight nine matchup. Malik San Diego State Aztecs. Taking on Creighton. This is a this is a weird one. Creighton's point guard has been out for a mm-hmm. while. He's out for the season. San Diego State. Defensive team. Very good defensive team. Matt Bradley can shoot the lights out. It's something about Creighton, though. Just kidding. There's I'm taking San Diego State. <laughs> like, I'm just, just kidding. I'm taking San Diego State. <laughs> There's no Doug McDermott on this team. It's just. Give it's still a Aztecs. good team, but. Give me the Aztec. Okay. Chris, you got any? You're going with San Diego State as well? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, their defense, they let their opponents average 57.7 points per game. That's pretty low. Um, yeah. They're one of the best defensive teams in the country. They make their free throws. That's a formula for me. Cool. It works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't really see anything special about Creighton um, to allow them to advance in this game. Number five, Iowa taking on the Richmond Spiders. <laughs> This Any mascot lovers out here? I was a, I like underseeded. I think they should have been a four. Uh, they should have been a four. I, I was hot. I mean, Keegan Murray is the player in the country right now. He yeah, they, they won the yep. Big Ten Conference Tournament. So, mm-hmm. give, me the, give me the Hawks. Give me the Hawkeyes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Go, I'm going to Iowa, too. Mm-hmm. When we did our Big Ten Conference Tournament preview, I said either Illinois or Iowa yep. could win it for, to me. Yeah, Iowa ended up winning it. It seems like they haven't missed a three in like two weeks. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, been... they every time they throw it up, it just looks good. Yep. Especially Jordan Bohannon, mm-hmm. who's shooting from almost half court at this point. Yeah, I, I, I mean, think that, that, yeah. that dude, that dude is like twenty five. So it's almost, yeah. Well, that's yeah. that's the thing. They have a good mix of, you know, veteran guys and then yeah. just talent. Yeah. I think I think they keep it rolling. They score at least eighty points because that's only, what they do. The only thing I'm nervous about, and I love Iowa in this tournament. The only thing I'm nervous about is there's a lot of people that are on the Iowa bandwagon right now. That yeah, makes me, yeah. that always makes me a little nervous. Mm-hmm. Joey, you're letting others make you nervous, man. Just, you know, control what you can control. You know, you like Iowa, go with Iowa. I mean, I'm going with Iowa. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Just a little scared. <laughs> All right. Frightened. 
Moving on, Providence, the number four, taking on 13, South Dakota State Jackrabbits. And here we are. Here we are. I think we all kind of agree. Chris, this is let's my upset. get Chris, let's get your opinion. Oh, tournament. The so Friars. You guys, all think, wait, you, guys all think, you guys all think South Dakota State? Yeah, you brought up Longwood shooting 38% from the three. <laughs> The South Dakota Jack State Rabbits, is the highest shooting. <laughs> they are the best three-point shooting team in the nation. They shoot at forty-five percent. Insane as a I team. Know. Insane. Mm-hmm. It's gonna. Here's the thing. It's gonna be a shootout because both teams aren't great defensively, um, and South Dakota State is way worse defensively. Yeah. Going. I mean, they their opponents average seventy-five points per game against them. Mm-hmm. That's a lot in college. Yes. Yeah. And Providence, um, Providence. the only reason I think a lot of people are doing it is Providence is kind of limping into the tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. They were expected a lot more. Yeah. But, yeah. I want to – okay, so the my, main reason I want this to happen is because I want to see Iowa versus South Dakota State. Oh, uh, yeah. That would that would uh, be an be insane fun. offensive It game. would be like an NBA time yes. of scoring, at least. Yes. I got SDSU. Yeah. Yeah, I got Providence, but I—I I mean, I understand you guys. Uh, I got no. Okay, I just I wanted to make sure because Jack Rabbits. Malik, what's your what's your thoughts? Listen, I, I think Providence deserves so much credit for winning their first Big East regular season title. Ed Cooley might be the most underrated coach in the country. He's had Providence winning for years, but yeah, that, that San Diego State team. I just think South Dakota, South Dakota State, South Dakota State, not San Diego State. Yeah, South Dakota State. I just think they got this one. Fair enough. I, I would be very disappointed if my biggest upset pick didn't happen. Yeah. I, I just feel like this is the one. Right. Which means it might not, but we'll see. Yeah. Number six, LSU just lost their head coach. I was a, guess who doesn't have a coach? <laughs> Taking on 11, Iowa State. Now, I will start because I am a big Cyclones lover. I said it early on in the season. I thought they were a good, really good team to be in the top 25. They played pretty bad this season. The second uh, half overall. of the season, they uh they dipped took down. A, dip, a bit of a dip. Yeah. But they're still a defensive team. I love the way they move the ball. They got Isaiah Brockington. They have the talent. I just think this, with LSU, it, the scary thing is a lot of people are starting to pick Iowa State, and LSU is either going to fall flat because they don't have a coach or they're going to be ignited because they don't, don't have a coach. Um, but I just think Iowa State, I think this is their time to get it right, and I, I'm I'm a big believer in the Cyclones still. I'm afraid LSU might make the Sweet 16, just because they're so talented. Yeah, I'm afraid they might, but I'm picking Iowa State because I really just want them to win. And let's let's just put the Will Wade era away. <laughs> <laughs> let's just get LSU out of here, man. Chris. What you got? Let's and then we'll let out. Sammy wrap. I got the Cyclones. I'm with you. Okay. Guys. I got the Cyclones. LSU, if if this was you know, what Will Wade did, alleged to have done, is absolutely insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and people have known about this for a few years. Yes. <laughs> and I remember back in 2019 when I picked Yale to beat LSU because of distraction. Yeah. Now with Wade gone, you know, I just think, what is LSU going to play for now? What are they going to play for? Maybe each other. That's like the, yeah, yeah, each other. The playing team. for each other might be the only thing. Yeah. But we'll see if they can. I that know much. Little Big Town's got a song called, um, you know, they got a they got a song, I know, that involves a um, tornado, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take the team that has the Little Big Town song, which is the Cyclone. Little Big Town for the win. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> little Big Town for the win. All right. So we're all unanimous to why Iowa State. I like it. I like it. Cyclones. Here we go. This one's tough for me. I was a big believer in Wisconsin. And now they're taking on the toothpaste. (laughs) (laughs) Wisconsin Colgate. Now Colgate, they're that team that almost almost took out Arkansas. Mm -hmm. They blew a big lead. (laughs) Colgate's a good three-point shooting team. They're kind of that perfect mixture. Wisconsin, I don't know what they do well. They're kind of just there. I've never liked them this season. And Outside I've, of Johnny Davis and a few other players. I've been the opposite. I've yeah, liked I them like all Johnny Davis. I've liked them all he's, season. But he's, he's been like the one thing and they that just carried them. are so weird. But I'm still I picking mean, I, them. Like, is yeah, that a problem? Johnny Davis. Yeah. Is that a toxic I, 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 relationship? 
Did I just yeah, keep yeah. picking them? This is my crazy upset. I'm taking Colgate. Okay. <laughs> I can I, this honestly, is, This is my crazy upset. Honestly, I can see it. But it could happen. I'm going with Wisconsin. On Wisconsin. Okay. On hey, Wisconsin. Give me the Badgers. Okay. So we got all Wisconsin. Malik, Wisconsin. I like that call though. I like I like the boldness of that call. There's something weird. Wisconsin could make the Elite Eight or they'll bounce in the first round. Okay. Just don't know. And it's in Milwaukee too, so and it's pretty close to Wisconsin. Yeah. Now we got a good I think this could be a really good game. USC and Miami. Seven seed USC, ten seed Miami. Miami's had a lot of big wins this season. Um but they fell short in the ACC tournament. Um, but, you know, they they knocked off Duke earlier in the season. Um, so they can play in big moments. And I know USC is the higher seed, but I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't see much out of USC. I'm going with I, Miami. I, the one thing I see from USC is Isaiah Mobley. He's really come on this year. Uh, he's taking a step now with Evan in the NBA. Isaiah's averaging 15 and 5. Mm-hmm. I like what I've seen from him this year. I think he's taking a step. That's why I'm taking USC. This is a toss up game for me, though. Yeah, I, I'm taking USC for the same reason. I think Isaiah Mobley and Chavez Goodwin are really good at the 4 and 5. I don't think Miami really has good enough bigs to match up with them on offense or defense. And I think USC's guards are kind of underrated. I think they get going in this tournament. My reaction says it all. Fight on. <laughs> Fight on. <laughs> USC Thanks. moves on. Fine. I have a problem with this next game. <laughs> what about the U? Anyway, Auburn, the number two seed, taking on Jacksonville Listen, State. But Jacksonville State didn't win the conference tournament. <laughs> yeah, they're I that team a, that we talked problem. about last week. Bellarmine University won this. They should be in this 15 seed. <laughs> why, but because wait, they, why aren't they? This is only because the, it's because only their second year in the NCAA, yeah. so they can't play in the tournament. You have to have four years of Division One basketball to be able to be into the tournament. Wow. Why? And Bellarmine won, why? but they only have two years why? of experience. If, if you're good enough to win the tournament, <laughs> they can't even be it's, in the. It's they can't even be in the NIT, correct? I don't. I don't think so. It's I'm pretty sure they ridiculous. just can't. Yeah, they're not in the. NIT. They won the conference, yeah. and that's it. They will remember that championship forever. I'm a fan of the Bellarmine Knights. And Auburn will beat Jacksonville State <laughs> by, like, 30. I hope they win by 100. I don't know why, but I feel, like this, State like, here. I feel like this is could be an upset. Hmm. I, you know, I just think back to, well, this is probably, like, 20, 2015. Jabari, no, this is earlier. Jabari Parker and Duke, the 215 matchup. They lost to Mercer. They, <laughs> yeah. Like, everybody, everybody was picking Duke. And there's no reason to pick Mercer. I don't know what it is. I think I was the only one to pick Mercer that year. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But you would Jacksonville be. State might win. I think this Auburn roster is stronger than that Duke roster. Yeah. It was Jabari Parker and a bunch of, like, four-year guys. Marshall Plumley was on that team. Uh, that's Miles. Emil Jefferson was on that team. Now he's coaching for Duke. Give me War Eagle. <laughs> yeah, I'm Give going with the uh, yeah. the War Eagle Tiger Peacocks, you know. Trust the top five picks in the first round. Yeah, yeah I agree. You're, I the, agree. you're that NBA prospect guy. Yep. I agree. Yes, you are. All right. That's our first round. We've completed it. Wow. So we're moving on to the round of 32. We have back to the top, to the west. We got Gonzaga playing Memphis. Does Penny Hardaway's streak keep going? Or do they no, fall flat that. against Gonzaga? Sorry, Penny. It's time to go. <laughs> Bye, Penny. Yeah, yeah. You, Bye, made, Penny. Yeah, you made you made improvements this season, but time to go. I think there's potential that Memphis could win this game. Um, no, no. Just kind of keeping that hot streak alive. No. But Jalen Duran no. versus Drew Timmy. No, will be an interesting matchup if it happens. Mm-hmm. I hate Drew Timmy. I hate <laughs> he said. Why? It. He said it, folks. Yeah, he said it. He's a high think, level college player. I think the one problem though that Gonzaga might have is they're going to need a lot out of Andrew Nemhard. Because it's in Portland. It's really close good. to Seattle. Their guard play is not as good as it's been in the past. That's it's my in only. Portland. I think Nimbard is really good. I think he is too, I but I think really he. Good. I think he's got to really in step up. It's in Portland. Okay. Okay, so we're all going Gonzaga. Yep. UConn, Arkansas. This is a good one. This is a good one. UConn, big bad, kind of tough team. Arkansas, kind of a high-powered team. 
I really like J.D. Note in the way that he plays. I like the Huskies. Huskies? Okay. I yeah, agree with Sammy. I, I, I think in these first few rounds, if you have a dominant big man, you have a better yeah. chance. Mm-hmm. I think Adam Sonogo is going to eat in these first few rounds. Okay. And I'm I'm taking them in a close game over Arkansas. Now, Arkansas could get hot, and J.D. Note could go for 30. That's possible, too. Yeah. But I think UConn wins a tough one. Again, in this scenario, thinking that Arkansas has gotten past Vermont, they got over that hump, I think that's when they get going. I think Arkansas becomes dangerous the further they get into the tournament, and I think that they're going to take UConn out. But we're going with UConn for the bracket. They will move on. Now we got Rutgers taking on Texas Tech. Any Rutgers people here? We still riding? Oh, I got Texas Tech. Yeah, Texas Tech is yeah, too tough. Te- Rutgers Texas is Tech. tough, but Texas Tech is one of the toughest mm-hmm. teams in the country. They got the makings of an mm-hmm. Elite Eight team. Yeah, I, I think Rutgers has the potential to knock off Alabama, but once they have to play up against a team like Texas Tech, they're just, they don't have enough offense to get past that. Okay, we have MSU taking on Wait, Duke. I thought it was Davidson. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 So, Coach K playing against Tom Izzo for the final time. I think Coach K bows out in this one. Oh, my goodness. I think what? Coach K bows out <laughs> at the party. Okay, how does Michigan State beat Listen, Duke? Listen, you laughed while you said that. Here's why. <laughs> Here's He's why. laughing while he says it. Here's why. My biggest disappointment of the season finally shows up in this game and plays like Xavier Tillman. <laughs> Mark, Marcus Bingham has the game of it. Against Mark Williams? <laughs> against Mark Williams. <laughs> this is when he turns into Duke. Duke, easy job. Mark Williams is one of the best defensive centers in the college this year. I just think Marcus Marcus Bingham finds a way. <laughs> this is his time to shine. Oh, <laughs> this my is God. It. I can't ride with you, Sammy. <laughs> I got to go with Duke. Even though I do think Duke's yeah. going to. Uh, lose early. I don't think they're going to get the miracle Coach K season. They'll make the Sweet 16 at least. I, th- I think they beat Michigan State. Theo John and Mark Williams are too much in the post. Yep. Baylor taking on UNC. This is a trap game. UNC, might, yeah, they could this is have a, trap a chance. Game. They have a chance. I'm taking North Carolina. They First could number have one a chance. in the house. I'm also taking North Carolina. Yeah, let's go, Joe. I think Baylor, this is where Baylor runs into the problem of not having Chamwa Chachua. Like, yeah. Armando yeah. Baycott is a problem. Especially yeah, if you don't have a yeah. really good big. They're not going to have him. Uh, I'm pretty sure LJ Cryer is also going to be out for the whole tournament. Maybe a couple games. I don't remember. <sighs> I was going to pick Baylor, but you guys are swaying me. Uh, um, And I just think North Carolina, coming off that Duke win, Granted, they didn't. I mean, they didn't win the ACC, but they they got the win that they needed to get right. to get. To I know we're level. picking North Carolina here, but look at where the game's at. Fort Worth, Baylor is in Waco. The Baylor crowd is going to be out. Baylor there. crowd will be out there in full force. It's going to motivate the. It's going to motivate. It's going to motivate the Bears. I think Baylor moves on past North Carolina. Because right. of the crowd. Malik? I mean, teams, teams have won road games in the past. Listen, yeah. North, Malik, North Carolina went against those Cameron crazies on Coach yeah, K they, night. I know. And they shut it down. Malik, I'm going to give you the final call because you said you were starting to sway. Is but you, I'm going to give you the final stay, the final pick. If you want to stay with Baylor or you can come to the Tar Heels. You got swayed me, North Carolina. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah, they, they swayed me. So, I'm sorry, Sammy. I went over to the dark Second side. Second time. Second I went time over to the dark side. Hey, again, you got... You get all the bragging rights if Baylor keeps moving on. I know I do. <laughs> Here we go. Chris, are you keeping with the Gales or are you coming uh, to the Bruins? Give me the Bruins. St. Mary's taking on UCLA. Sounds of Westwood. Listen, yeah, I, UC, I think UC, St. Mary's UCLA. is going to be so motivated in this game mm-hmm. to show they belong with a Pac-12 team. Yeah. You're going with St. Mary's? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think this is the same scenario as kind of Arkansas. I think if if St. Mary's gets out of that first round, they get past Indiana, then I think they have a chance to make some some noise. But I just think UCLA has just got too much talent. I, I think, I mean, they've already been there again. Talking about guys that have been there before, UCLA has got them. Chris, what were you about to say? I interrupted you. My bad. Oh, I don't remember. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's going with UCLA. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I was gonna say they brought back their whole team. Like I said last time. Yeah. I mean, this is a veteran team. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm around UCLA. Virginia Tech taking on Purdue. Does Virginia Tech keep the streak alive, or is the Big Ten team too much? Jay Nivey shuts it down. I think Big Trey Williams and Zach Eady have a have a really good game in this one. Even though they they have some good bigs, I, I think Purdue they kick it into high gear in this one. Mm-hmm. I think the magical season continues. Give me Vitek. Ah, I, li- I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. It would be cool if the Hokies continued, mm-hmm. but I'm I'm going Purdue. I think I'm going to ride with Sammy on this one. I think the ACC uh, champions okay. again. If they get away, if they get out, if they beat Texas and they look good doing it. I think they can keep that momentum alive. Purdue has been another one of those Big Ten teams where like sometimes they look like they could be the best team in the in the country, and then other nights they just don't look like they have it. They have to play a Virginia Tech team that, if they get going, it's going to be really tough. Mm-hmm. I'm going with Virginia Tech. Who wants to t- – wait, who hasn't done a tiebreaker yet? I don't know. I haven't done one yet. Did I do the first one? Yeah, I, I mean, know. you just did one. I, d- I think I did the MSU one. Chris, uh, Chris hasn't. Chris and Sammy both like, haven't. I haven't done it, no. Well, let's give this one to Chris. Cause he's the Jade and Ivy guy. Are you? You're gonna stick to it. You're gonna put it on the views yeah, from the sideline yeah. bracket. Yup. Give me Jade and Ivy. I mean. Okay. Alrighty. Put it down. Try to last minute persuasion, but okay. It's fair. It's fair. Murray State and Kentucky. Anybody got Murray State? No. Nah. Oh. No. Yeah. I think they keep it close in the beginning, but Kentucky's just too strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oscar Sheboy is going to eat on the glass. They have way too much talent. I don't think Oscar Sheboy is averaging 16 rebounds. Yeah. I don't think people realize yeah. how dominant Malik. of a season he's had. Mm-hmm. Malik, is shit on Sharp playing or no? I, I haven't heard anything about it, honestly. I, would, I, I don't think he's going to play. I yeah. don't think he is. Back over to the South. Arizona taking on TCU. Can TCU continue their run? TCU's tough, but I'm going to Arizona. I got Zona. Yeah. Chris? Yeah, Zona. Sam? Arizona's just got too much talent. It's going to be really tough. Yep. Houston and Illinois. This Give one's me tough. UAB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me UAB. If, if UAB won against Houston, would you take UAB here? Uh, yeah. That's just, that's your wow. darling, that's your, that's okay. My, darling you know, pick. Okay. That, that's my darling pick. Yeah. Okay. That's, I mean. Illinois is my darling pick. Okay. Listen, if if Houston had Marcus Sasser, I think I'd pick them over Illinois, but I think Illinois will have better guards and Kofi. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Illinois as well. Like I said, I think it's the rebound year for the Big Ten, mm-hmm. and I think Illinois can, can take off Houston. All right. We have U of M. They're taking on Tennessee. Tennessee by at least ten. Tennessee, Michigan by Michigan by three. Oh. oh. If Michigan makes the Sweet Sixteen, so Chris, you're going. The crazy Chris, you're going with Michigan. Sammy and Malik, you guys are going Tennessee. We're gonna go, yeah. go Tennessee. Yep. Rock okay. Just like Chris just said, I want to have it in writing that I would have Colorado State winning this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Over Tennessee. Wow. Have yeah. beaten Tennessee. Huh? Yep. I have Colorado State over them. Um, in this scenario, though. I think Tennessee would beat Michigan. I almost wanted to go to it, but, yeah, I think Tennessee is just better. I think Michigan, I mean, I feel like they're going to have to use up all their energy just to beat Colorado State. Even though Tennessee has an iffy Mm -hmm. record in the tournament over the Mm -hmm. past few years. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go again. Loyola Chicago taking on Villanova and Jay Wright. Give me Sister Jean. (laughs) Give me Sister Jean. (laughs) Enthusiasm. Joey, when we were able to do this before, we picked Loyola. We we led them all the way. I think we did to the Sweet Sixteen, and they went to the Elite Eight. Yeah. Let's let's not mess this up. We were. This is us getting a second chance. You know, we've been correct, but you know, sometimes you know, good times come to an end. Not when Drew Valentine's leading the charge. <laughs> I don't think Villanova's very deep. I'm going Loyola. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's I'm going go. Loyola. Sammy, what do you got? Back to the Sweet Sixteen. Uh, let's see. I know Jay Wright very well. I know they won a national championship. Yeah. 
but Harry Potter, but Gryffindor oh, is still here. <laughs> and Gryffindor is still alive. Oh, man. So give me just a gene. Oh. Megan Sweet 16. <laughs> All right, I'm not abiding by this one. I'm going Nova. I just think they're too strong. I think they're they're a Are team. Are they though? Are they though? I do. I I think that Nova is a team that for once people are overlooking. And I think that Con Gillespie could carry them to a final four. I think this is the type of Villanova team before Jay Wright won a championship. These are the teams that people used to make fun of because yeah. they would get upset. Yeah. Before he got, that was that was back when I used that, that was back when I used to pick Villanova all the time, and then I stopped <laughs> picking them. Yeah. And then they won. Yeah. So maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe it's me. I mean, yeah. Maybe I'm helping Loyola in a sense by picking Nova. Reverse psychology. Yeah. Playing the game. We'll see. <laughs> all right, we're going with Loyola though for the podcast. Kansas taking on San Diego State. Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. Kansas. Okay, easy. Even I, I've seen some good defensive teams play Kansas this year, mm-hmm. and Kansas go cold. But I think they're going to be locked in for this. Yeah. I know. I agree. 100%. Iowa taking on South Dakota State. This is the matchup that I want to see so badly. What What will the score of this game be? Uh, give, me, give me Iowa 98 to 92. Keegan Murray drops a 40 burger. I want to see Listen, just absolute. I would not gunning. be surprised if Keegan dropped 40. Yeah. He's, he's the reason I'm picking Iowa because I think have them having Keegan Murray is just. It's going to win them a few games. Yeah. I'm going to take Iowa here. Um, Crazy score here, alert, 115-103. Yes. Is it going to multiple oh. overtimes? No. Oh. In regulation. Hey, we saw we ha- we saw Iowa put up 112. The so. first half is going to be like 75-75. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we just did have back-to-back nights of NBA players dropping 60. I would, so it's wild possible. times, wild times. Yeah. yeah, I would love to see just high scoring. Yeah. Here we go, Iowa State taking on Wisconsin. This one... Two teams that I've had a lot of faith in, and they've just let me down this year. In this game, this I, is a this, this is a sad matchup. Give me Wisconsin, yeah. but it's sad. <laughs> it kind of is. It, it is, is a little a bit. It's sad. I I'd go Wisconsin between these two teams. Mm. I think Johnny Davis just goes in. Too much yeah. Johnny Davis. Give me back. Give me Bucky. Dang it! I wanted. I'm going with uh, Iowa State. I think their defense is going to be able to slow down Wisconsin, and Wisconsin is just one of those teams outside of Johnny Davis. I don't know what they do well, like I said before. I think Iowa State could actually slow them down and just play methodical and be able to beat them. But we're going Wisconsin, and now we got USC taking on Auburn. Uh, Give me Auburn. I think yeah, Jabari is really going to. Or Eagle. Jabari is going to secure his top three, maybe top two in this game. Yep. I think he – Chavez Goodwin is one of the best big men defenders in college basketball. I think Jabari is going to hit several contested jumpers in his face. Yeah. Okay, we've reached the Sweet 16. Gonzaga taking on UConn. Does I UConn keep it alive? Is. Timmy and uh, Chet are too much for just Sonogo. I got Gonzaga. Gonzaga moves on. I got Gonzaga. Yeah. And I like Nimbard more mm-hmm. than RJ Cole, UConn's yep, point guard. I got card. Gonzaga. Yeah. I agree. I think if this was Arkansas, I think they have a better matchup against Gonzaga. I think Arkansas actually has a chance to take off Gonzaga if they get there. If they don't, then I think Gonzaga keeps going. Keeps rolling along. Texas Tech and Duke. Tack me, Duke. Tack. Ooh. I'm going to No. Tack. Ooh, Malik's going Here's to Tack. Tack. What's one thing we know about the NCAA? Defense wins the- games. No, no. Yeah. Yes, love- yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Defense <laughs> wins championship. Damn Tech does you're it. Right. Duke does not. Damn right. Damn you're right in that aspect. But the NCAA loves to make money. This is Coach K's <laughs> final season. <laughs> you think they're going to rig the championship? Chris, are you trying to say that they're going to rig the game? Is yeah, that what you're implying? <laughs> Give me Duke all day. Coach K is going to the Elite Eight. Why didn't he beat North Carolina in his last game, Chris? Mm-hmm. Because that didn't matter. Oh! <laughs> That didn't matter. That didn't matter. That really? Did, that didn't matter. Oh, my god. Them, them losing to Virginia Tech in the ACC tournament didn't matter. Yeah. This matters. Yeah, this matters. This right yeah. here. They're going to need a lot out of Paolo, I think, yeah. to he's, make a deep He's going to need to turn it up. And I haven't seen it. I got Texas Tech. I'm hey, sorry, Chris. Pa- Listen. Pa- Paolo has been quiet. He has faded. He's been better lately, but in the middle of the season, he is quiet. Yep. Chris, yeah. you mark this down. Adonis Arms. Is going to make it a hard night for Paolo Banchero. Yep. Adonis right, Arms is a dog. Yep. All right. Okay, we got tech moving on. Like to see it. 
Here we go. This is a classic right here. UNC, UCLA. Wow. Ooh, two wow. two all-time great programs. Yes. Sounds of Westwood moves on. Okay. Give me UCLA. What you got, Malik? Or you want me to go first? You go first. Okay, I'll make it easy. I got UCLA too. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a chance that UNC could do it again. I've watched Armando Baycott a lot closer lately, and he is a real deal. He's exciting to watch. I think they have a chance. But again, UCLA is that team that if they get going and they've made it this far, that means Johnny Juzang and Jaime Jaquez have got it going. And that's scary. I, in my bracket, I don't have UCLA getting past the Elite Eight, I think. But, yeah, I'll, I'll go UCLA. Just yeah. Okay. I'll go UCLA. Purdue and Kentucky. I think this is going to be a good game. Kentucky. Purdue. Oscar Sheboy versus Big Trey. And Zach Eady is going to be really crazy to watch. Yep. Just the fighting for the rebounds. Yeah, the that's going to be the most exciting rebound battle <laughs> yeah. of the tournament. They got Jaden Ivey. But the, uh, I, I'm going Kentucky. I'm going Kentucky. Oh, my I, God. I, I can't. I don't trust. This is the team that, that is supposed to make a run for Purdue. But I just – I can't. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chris. I, you know, Joey, what you got? I'm a Big Ten guy, and I can't Listen. pick him. It's, it's so I sad because Purdue is that team that, like, Every year we're expecting big things, and they always just come up just short. And this Kentucky team, like, they're really good, but they're still not talked about as much as past Kentucky teams. Mm -hmm. When Kentucky beat Kansas at Kansas by, like, 30, I knew something was different. Mm -hmm. Nobody talks about them that much, but they'll go to Kansas and they'll just completely destroy them. I think this Kentucky team is different. Yeah, I I think they beat Purdue. I feel like we're over-evaluating it. The best player in this matchup is Jay Ivey. That very well may be true. Very true. All right. Yeah. No, but all right. I just, I don't know. I think right. Kentucky has good enough guard play to be able to keep up with it. Ivy. Defensively, though? Defensively, do they have good enough guard play? I mean, or... not not necessarily, but. I think Keon Brooks would do a decent job on him, but he's he's a top five pick. He's going to get, he's going to get his points. Yeah. Going over to the south, we got Arizona taking on Illinois. Does another Big Ten team drop? No. Yes. No. Jeez. Arizona all day. That's no. easy. Illinois beats Arizona. This is Sammy. Arizona. Arizona team is the most complete team in the. I, I don't think Illinois is strong enough. Kobe's yeah. Kobe is a monster, and their guards can shoot, but I don't think they're they're not as tough as Arizona. Arizona's like seven deep, seven eight deep, and whoever they put in the game, they just run. Yep. Like, yeah. I'm with you guys. I, th- I think Arizona is the team. Um, a lot of pick- people, like I said, are picking them to win the national championship. And I just uh, – Illinois, again, this this might be where the Big Ten teams start to fall off because I think they're really good, but this is where some of their inconsistencies will show is in the Sweet 16. I mean, we saw this matchup already this year. So Arizona won. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, this is the game where I think people will start to really know who Benedict Matherin is. Yeah. One of the better two guards in this draft. Yeah. Tennessee taking on Loyola. Give me Loyola. Oh, Got to do man. it, Sister G. Uh, I'm going Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. No, no. Guys, the the guys, run-ins guys. here. <laughs> no, no. The bus that, stops. Here. Yeah, Malik, not there. Malik, this is where we made our mistake last time. <laughs> that, there's no way the run can keep going. And then it did. They, okay. be, they beat Tennessee on a buzzer beater last yeah, time. They did. They and beat Tennessee, Tennessee on a buzzer that. beater. Yeah. Tennessee remembers that. So give me Rocky Top. To be completely honest, Chris, I'm with you. I, <laughs> now that we're here, I think we yeah, can't stop. I, exactly though. I think that if Loyola has made it this far, they're rolling. They're they're fine. I, I'm I'm inclined to pick Loyola because I'm not a big Listen, I'm not a big believer in Tennessee. I think Kennedy Chandler is gonna destroy Braden Norris. <laughs> <laughs> And I think they're good enough defensively to stop yeah. the rest of Loyola's scholars. Okay. I like I said, I don't trust Tennessee most tournaments, but I like this team more than the, more than the other ones. Can we at least put Loyola for the podcast, please? Is it up to Sammy? 
No. No. <laughs> I don't. That was such a quick no. Is, no. Is it up the same? <laughs> All I, right. I thought it was his pick. It might be. We'll, okay, okay, we'll put Tennessee down. We'll let that be Sammy's pick. But Chris, oh. Chris, <laughs> he just broke. Chris, deep in our hearts, we know we're the originators of the views from the sidelines podcast. So we're sticking with the loyal Listen, Chicago podcast. Then you sh- you should have picked them the first time. <laughs> you should have frowning on us. You should have picked them the first time. Well, you know. <laughs> anyway, moving on down to the Midwest, we got Kansas and Iowa. 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 That's what I like to hear. I'm done. With, uh, I think Iowa's cut here. Best hot team, best player in the country. Iowa. I'm going with Iowa as well. Okay. Iowa. Uh, they're my they're they're kind of my bandwagon this year, but I'm nervous because a lot of people are jumping on board. Like I said, I'm I'm scared they're going to lose earlier. But again, if they're rolling, like Keegan Murray Murray is definitely rolling, and I think they have a chance to take off Kansas. So I would go with Iowa. Malik, you want Kansas though? Yeah. Okay. Wisconsin taking on Auburn. That's no not- way! I I don't see Wisconsin Eagle. winning this game. War yeah. Eagle. I don't I don't see any way Wisconsin wins this. No. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm picking Wisconsin. Okay. Okay. I can see it. it on the record. I honestly can see it. I I think I have Kansas Wisconsin Kansas. winning this game in one of my brackets, but I don't know. They, I I don't see it enough. I I think the talent- at every at every other position besides two guard. Auburn is so much better. Yeah, I think I think talent like, prevails. What? Is, how are they going to score at the basket with Jabari and Walker Kessler there? Yeah. How? I don't know. That's, they got to shoot like 70% from three to beat Auburn, yeah. at least. We're in the Elite Eight. Who's going to the Final Four? Gonzaga taking on Texas Tech. Texas Tech goes to the Final Four. Gonzaga. Give me Zaga at that point. I would have yeah. picked Duke, but give me Gonzaga. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it could be low scoring. It could be a slower Texas game. Texas Tech is a defense first team. They are. They're the most dangerous but team to Gonzaga. I trust Gonzaga's talent in this one. Yeah. I think they're I think they're more talented. <laughs> and I, I don't think they're I think they'll get punched in the first few minutes and they'll respond. I'm going with Texas Tech as well. I think Texas Tech is kind of my sleeper esque team. Um I, I just think defensively they could cause problems. And we've seen it in the past. And I think Gonzaga is a little, a little less talented than they have been in the past. Mm-hmm. And I think that makes them vulnerable. So my pick would be Texas Tech. I don't know how we want to tie break this. Um, I could decide it. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody else's turn this time. Somebody else's turn. I will be willing to let Gonzaga win this. And I'm going to just say that I have Texas Tech winning the national championship. Wow. What? Yes. How? Just, just quick, quick. How, how will they score enough once they get to the championship? I don't think they, they've never, they don't have any particular player to get them over that big, big hump. Yeah. You didn't answer the question. <laughs> I agree. I, no, I, <laughs> no, I agree. But as we've heard. Who's the player? You know, as we've heard. Yeah, Chris. Well, Malik, it's March. It's March. But we, every 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 championship answer. team and most Final Four teams have at least one guy that like you, that. Did you we know, know? Did we know that it was going to be Dante Divincenzo? He wasn't the, the in the championship. He became the guy. Their yeah, whole exactly. Team, their That's whole starting five were pros. Somebody <laughs> at some point steps up. Okay. It. All Chris right. said it earlier. Sometimes I've been you watching just, them all year, and I don't see the guy. Sometimes you just got to go with it. They they don't have the guy yeah. that's going to go crazy in March. You just got to have a feeling. Oh, we're going, I'm with Joe on that one. We're going with Gonzaga. Okay. Okay. You know what, Joey? You swayed me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Last minute. So we're going with Texas Tech now. That's two two, right? No, Sammy had Texas Tech. I had, te- I had Texas Tech. You had That's Gonzaga and Malik had. Ah, give me Gonzaga. So <laughs> it, it was tied. Okay, it was okay tied. we're going. Okay, Gonzaga. I just we're made the. Yes. I just made the tiebreaker. <laughs> To be Gonzaga, yes, okay. so that I could say that I had Texas Tech winning the whole thing. Mm-hmm. They're one of my teams that I think could win the whole thing. Okay, UCLA, uh, Kentucky, UCLA, UCLA, Kentucky. I, I don't, I don't think UCLA does it again. Experience matters. I don't think UCLA does it again. Kentucky experience has matters. experience. Yeah, Kentucky. This is one of the few Calipari teams. Not with Cal brought in experience. experience. 
Mm. I don't think. Not with Final listen, Four experience. I don't think they had that magic again. Not I don't that it's Final Four experience. There are teams that make a Final Four and don't get back. That happens. They're coming back. They're going back. I, I don't you know think what, they get Malik? back. I don't think they get back. Malik, you're right. I didn't think about it. This is one yeah. of the older Coach Cal teams. Yeah. Like the, last the year was one of the Cal. most magical Final Four runs I've seen a team have. And they they went like, from the play-in to the Final Four. I feel like we haven't seen Coach Cal do much very recently, like for a while now. I think, you know what? You persuaded me. Give me Kentucky. I'm going Kentucky, man. This one's tough for me. I, this, I agree. This, with, wait, yeah. you went Gonzaga. You went Gonzaga <laughs> first. You should go UCLA here. This, this is one of Cal's few teams where the youth and the experience perfectly match. Those types of Cal teams usually go far. Those ones do. His last championship team was like that. Yeah. I think Kentucky wins this one. God, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just, again, it's that Kentucky is like somewhat under the radar as far as Kentucky teams go, Yeah, which is weird. And UCLA, again, is that team that everybody's kind of thinking they can make another run. I, I don't know. All right, guys, I got to get going again. All right, Sammy. What's your 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 championship game? Um, I got um, my fi- championship game is Texas Tech and um, Texas Tech and Illinois. And who do you have oh. winning? Texas Tech. See, oh, oh no, Texas- UCLA. My bad. Take my UCLA. <laughs> UCLA. <laughs> UCLA. <laughs> UCLA versus Illinois. I got UCLA. Okay, okay. I okay. gotta go, guys. Take care. All right, guys. take it. Bye, Sammy. Right, thanks, Bye, y'all. Uh, See you, buddy. Yep. All righty, Sammy is out of here. No more tiebreakers. Uh, no more tiebreakers. But we have all of his picks. We know what he wants. So we're going to go over to the south side, take Arizona and Tennessee. Does Arizona get knocked off by Tennessee? Because I don't think Tennessee is going to be here. I yeah, think I Arizona Arizona. Make, Arizona goes. Okay. Um, this is where I had Villanova potentially making it to the final four uh, here. They have Colin Gillespie. It's possible. It's but possible. um. Yeah, in this scenario, I'm taking Arizona. You say you're taking who? Arizona. Okay. Midwest, Iowa, and Auburn. Keegan Murray versus Jabari. This is gonna be a good Iowa. this is gonna be a good matchup for Chris. Did you say Iowa, Chris? He did say Iowa. Yeah. Oh, you got Iowa making the final four? Yeah. Oh my god. Iowa making the final four almost seems impossible. We've never seen an Iowa team make it that far. Yeah. Not even it's close. Mar- Malik, it's March. Anything's possible. You're right. Sometimes anything. Usually not for Iowa. But Auburn but this, this Auburn thing. has that NBA talent. I mean, but Iowa does so too. Iowa. Right, but. Iowa has one NBA player. Jabari <laughs> Smith is a little higher up the draft board. Uh, okay. Ke- Keegan has been a more dominant college player I, I, this Keegan year. Keegan is the better. Keegan, in this, in this matchup. Right now, Keegan Murray is the better player. Yeah. Jabari the better pro the prospect better is, yeah. yeah. Yes. Jabari's the better pro prospect. Keegan's the better player right now. Yes, I agree. And that's why I'm taking Iowa. Because yeah. he's ready wow. right now. He's ready right now. Yeah, I have Iowa. I have them making the final four. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just riding the bandwagon. I think if their offense is cooking, they can beat just about anybody. I will not yeah. buy into the trick. Of Iowa. Like I, I said, I am scared of that. I am very yes. scared of that. But, it's still a trick to me. But I'm buying in. <laughs> Alrighty. So we got the final four. Gonzaga and Kentucky. Is this where Gonzaga blows it? Or do they yes. keep moving? Give me Kentucky. For this bracket, I'm going to go Kentucky. I think Oscar Shibway really just makes it so hard for Timmy and Dongren. And he has great stamina, too. So I don't think he goes. Unless they get him in foul trouble. That's the one way Gonzaga can have the upper hand in this. Yeah. They attack him early and just get him in foul trouble, which is possible. Mo- I think the mo- most likely situation is they get Chet Holmgren in foul trouble. That dude fouls a lot. Well, I, I think Sheboy is just going to guard him straight up, though. Yeah. I think he's just going to go strength. I don't think he's going to like try to like force yeah. fouls. Yeah, I just yeah. wait. I think I just swayed myself. I'm going Gonzaga. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I, I like I like Gonzaga's guard play more than Kentucky's, even though I like Severe Wheeler. Yeah, I'm going to go Kentucky. Okay. Chris, who are you going? Kentucky. I'm also going Kentucky. Okay. Um, I just, again, I, I think Gonzaga is just, 
it seems like they find a way to lose, unfortunately. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of Chet, as we know. Yeah. He's right on the Pistons radar. We're all kind of fans of him. But I don't know. I just think, again, there might be something about this Kentucky team. I'm going with Kentucky. Arizona and Iowa. Are we keeping the Hawkeyes alive? I'm not. They, they've been dead to me for a few Arizona. rounds. I think this is Arizona. <laughs> yeah, Arizona's Arizona. the most complete team. Yeah. I have Iowa. Because, again, this is another one of those teams. If they are this far, I'm riding with them. I have yeah, Iowa. Yeah. I, Last time Kentucky was in the championship, well, they, they, no, they didn't make it to the championship because Wisconsin. Wait, who made it? Duke. Kentucky lost to Wisconsin, yeah, and Wisconsin lost to Duke. Yes. Yeah, that's what happened last time. Yep. So last time Wisconsin, I mean Kentucky, played a Big Ten team in the Final Four, they lost. Mm-hmm. But I'm getting myself confused. I'm just going Arizona. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm getting myself. Yep. Just for the record, Iowa is my other championship contender. I think they could win it because if they got there, they're. I think they can make a run, but they have to get there. They have to get out of the first two rounds. So we got a t- Kentucky Arizona national championship. Couple teams we haven't seen in a little while. One because uh, they weren't eligible, and the other just because they've kind of been down. I think in this scenario, I think this is where Arizona would win. I think they just have the talent. They're kind of becoming the favorite for a lot of people. It seems like for this tournament, and I just think they're well rounded to be able to keep up with Kentucky, and they would just barely inch it out. I think. I think this would be a really good national championship game. Yeah. I, I'm i going Arizona in the end. I think they'd be too much. If they're rolling like this, then they're really rolling. Chris, what are your thoughts on our national championship? I would go Kentucky, but I mean. Yeah, I think it's, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. Malik persuaded me. I think now I'm like, oh, is this really Coach Kale's time? So now I'm all in that mind space. So, yeah, I've picked Kentucky, but I, I think either one. Yeah. I mean, there's also never been I, – I think there's never been a new head coach that has won a national championship before. I don't think I'm, so. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's a stat out there somewhere. Um, so it would be pretty impressive if Arizona is able to do it. We have Arizona winning. Any, uh, any other thoughts you guys have on the tournament? we got a little bit of time, but just as kind of uh, a wrap-up. In my bracket, I have Arizona beating Gonzaga. So I was going to say, yeah. what's your guys' final fours? My yeah. final four was Arizona, Gonzaga, Baylor, and Kentucky, I believe. Kentucky and Baylor are on the same side. Oh, shoot. Who was it? I'm going to go on my phone real quick and pull it up. Arizona and Gonzaga were both there. Did you have Kansas or Auburn? I, I think it was Auburn and Baylor. I think that's what, yeah. I think it was, yeah, Gonzaga. Baylor? Baylor on one side. And Auburn? then Arizona, Auburn on the other. That was my final four. Okay. Chris, what is your final four? Uh, Duke, Purdue, Arizona, and Iowa. Okay. That'd be really entertaining. I, I fill yeah. out two brackets for my uh, family league. I had one with Texas Tech, Kentucky, um, I believe it was Arizona, and Kansas. And then in the other one, I believe it was Iowa, Gonzaga, UCLA, and Villanova. So, Joe, are you adding the views from the sideline one to that group on ESPN? Yes, it's already right. in the group. I just haven't filled it out yet, so I'll fill it out, which we will link in the description of the video when I post it to YouTube. Um, so if anybody wants to submit their bracket, they can just click that link. They can add it. It's open, whatever they want. We'll try to put our own brackets in there. I'll probably save my other ones to that group as well so that they're in there and then we can all kind of see and compete. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about this tournament. We got a lot of upset potential as usual. Um, what's your guys' first first round matchup that you're most excited for? Chris? The one I'm most excited for. Oh, I got to check that out. I, got, I had it. Hold on. First round matchup I'm most excited for. Probably Michigan State Davidson. Is one of them, mm-hmm. and then Houston U Houston UAB, <laughs> Jelly. I'm all for Jelly. Fair enough. I think for me, I think it's on that south side. I think Colorado State Michigan 
and Ohio State Loyola. I think those ones are really interesting. Oh, I can't forget Loyola. Yeah, Loyola yeah. for sure. Especially too because Colorado State Michigan starts off the tournament. They are the first oh, does game. It? Yeah, they are the first game on Thursday. Yeah, Michigan's the first game tomorrow. Nice. So that will be really interesting. I think. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, whether it's Rutgers or Notre Dame, I think Alabama versus one of those two teams is going to be a really good one. Yeah, I can't wait to see Rutgers or Notre Dame tonight. Mm-hmm. And our boy Peter Kiss. I was going to say Bryant tonight. Peter Kiss, that should be awesome. What time is Peter Kiss the second game? Or first? first one. First game. Yeah. So the second game is Rutgers Notre Dame. Yep. Oh, okay. All righty. This has been Views from the Sidelines. Chris, thank you for coming back, coming on for the show. Sammy, we appreciate you, even though you had to leave early. What is that? Shout out Cade Cunningham, rookie of the year. Oh, jeez. <laughs> rookie of the year. Keep the Cade campaign Cunningham. going. Some people don't yeah. believe. Yeah. Some oh, people just don't Roy, believe. Roy, come on now. Give him his trophy today. <laughs> Next week, uh, Malik and I will be back for the regularly scheduled podcast, even though we'll be going over some NCAA tournament stuff. There's a ton of news so much uh, to, to go over. So many high-scoring games in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know how we're going to handle it all, but we're going to have to figure it out. Um, lots to talk about. But this has been Views from the Sideline. Like I said, Chris, Malik, I'm Joey. We'll see you guys next time. Chris?